What's going on? Anyways, it's Heath again, and today we are off to go to Tokyo, and we're going to take some interesting shots. Uh, on the shot list today, uh, I'm hoping to go and shoot the Tokyo Rainbow Ridge, the loop. I'm also probably going to head over to Shinjuku or Shibuya and do some long exposure light trails. And I also brought some of my long exposure ND filters, so I'm going to try and get some super long, long exposure shots. So, come on, let's go to Tokyo. Well, anyways, I'm here at the Rainbow Bridge at the Loop, and unfortunately, I have barge in the way, which is killing the shot. So, can't shoot here. <laughs> now I have to go to a backup plan, so let's go to the backup plan. All right, so we're in Shinjuku. I went to my backup plan. I wanted to get a nice shot of one of the buildings I like here, and I know exactly where to go. But it's not really creative, so I don't have a really different shot. But we're gonna go there. And we're gonna shoot. So let's go and shoot uh, some po Japan. So let's go. So, anyways, I am here at this bridge, and we can see the Sopo Japan building behind me. And it's cool because if you look here, I probably can't even do it here. The base is really wide, and it gets narrows as it gets tough, tall. And what's really cool here also is that you have traffic going and splitting in two different directions. So, if you time this just right, you can actually get both the traffic going in both different directions and get the building if you have a wide enough lens which on my sony here i'm shooting a 10 to 18 crop sensor lens but it works really really well from 12 to about 17 and here you only need to be about 17 millimeters so i've actually got it at 16 millimeters shooting a little wider i can crop in or use it to fix the distortion of the building but besides that this is what my setup looks like i'm using my open tripod with my new ball head using a trigger release and that is what it's looking like. And right now I'm just waiting for more of the city lights to come on and then once it gets darker, blue hour will shoot through and I'll take a couple of shots and then I'll stay a little longer and make sure I get enough light shots. I've already got this shot, but I'm shooting it again because I got it with sunset this time. So we're just playing around now. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little quick trick of catching as many light shows as you can during one stoplight evolution. We have the light that's not gone yet, but we've gone ahead and set the camera up to high speed continuous. We've gone ahead and hooked up a trigger. And what we've gone down is we've already set the angle. So as soon as I push down the trigger, it's going to start taking photos. So the car's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and push down the button. It's going to start taking photos now. So about every six seconds, it's going to shoot. And it's just going to continually shoot over and over and over. And you're going to start getting these light trails. So you got that. And then in about six more seconds, you got the next set. Now we got that set, and it's every eight seconds now. So we're just going to shoot continuously while we have a green light. That one. So what we're doing here is we're just gathering as much data as we can, see if we can get something cool because we don't control the traffic. And when we're all done with it, then we're going to pick which ones we want to put into our scene at the very end. All right, so. I think I've got what I need for this shot. I've gone ahead and got my light trails, I've got the sunset, I've got the blue hour, I've got plenty of lights on the buildings. I even got the parking area where the cars are standing right now without any cars so I can blend those in together. And when it's all said and done with, it's gonna look like this. 